Hi everyone, welcome back to Beauty by Trish. To just kind of do a chit chat, talk about a few products, and yeah, we'll just kind of wing it, I guess. Okay, so I do have a video that will be coming up, and it has some things that I've been using for the past few weeks. I do have some things that I would like to show you because they are newer and I do enjoy them. And let's start with, I already talked about my IT Superhero Mascara. Really am enjoying this, but I tell you, I never, I never, ever, ever thought that I would recommend an eyelash primer because I tried several and none of them ever worked for me. You know how I am. If something straightens my lashes out, I'm just done. And I got this one because I heard so many people talk about it and I love it. This alone is really good. This is really, really good. But if you add this, put it on, let it dry, and then go in with this, it blows it out of the park. I mean, it just blows it out of the park. And this is the Lancome Sills Booster XL. And it is a white. I know some people only like the darker eyelash primers, but I don't even think I've ever tried a darker one, like a tinted one, I guess I should say. But this really is good. I used it today. It's amazing. It's just really, really an awesome eyelash primer. This is like the first day in literally probably a month that I have done my hair. I know that's horrible, but it rained. I'm not kidding you. In six weeks, I would say we might have had five days that we did not have rain. It was crazy. And I'm trying to heal my hair, so I wasn't going to curl it, even use my new, you know, where it sucks your hair up and curls it. Not even that. Just to put it up in a ponytail. So what I decided to do, I invested in some hair oils and heavy conditioners and different things like that. And I'm really bathing my hair in oils and moisturizers and conditioners and leave-in treatments. And I feel like, I feel like in doing that, I'm taking advantage of having to wear my hair up so much and I'm going to appreciate it in the long run. For probably the past four days, it's been relatively warm, but um, it's the year of the cicadas, casitas, cicadas, cicadas, the locusts, <laughs> the bugs with the red eyes. We live in a valley in the woods on a farm. It sounds like I don't know what in our valley. And they're evil looking because they have red eyes. So my hair's up. up. And it's just so hot. I mean, I go outside and my hair goes bing. Shh. Yeah. So anyway, so that's what I've been doing since I've had to wear my hair up anyway. But I did get a couple new. I got this. Is it when I was at mom's? I think it's when I was at mom's. So I've had it for a couple weeks. I've used it probably four or five times. And I do like this. It doesn't weigh my hair down. This is, this is the Nourishing Coconut Milk Shampoo. Indulge your senses with this exclusive blend with coconut milk, coconut oil, and ultra whipped egg white proteins. This exotic formula helps add strength, elasticity, hydration, and balance for healthy hair. It says, indulge your senses with this exclusive blend of coconut milk to nourish your hair, while ultra-whipped egg white proteins add strength and elasticity, along with weightless coconut oils to add hydration and balance. And I will tell you that this did not weigh my hair down. It did not make it do anything really weird meaning chemically treated fine hair can do some weird things sometimes. And this didn't do that. It was nice, but I would recommend that product for most people. If you're looking for a drugstore shampoo and conditioner, 
unless you have red hair. Those molecules will just let go and then you have kind of a brassy collar. Not, not a good look. So this kind of did that, but I don't hold it against this product. Just a lot of shampoos do that with red hair. You have to be really, really careful. I think I'm gonna take this to my mom. I'm pretty sure my mom would really enjoy this and she has really super fine hair also. Their products were buy two, get one free. This is a renewing and argon oil of Morocco. Elevated finishing spray, all day hold, flash dry, flex, brushable, humidity resistant. Now, when my hair was up in the rollers, I did a light spray of this. And then when I took it down, it's the only hairspray that I've used. And I did feel like it gave me a little bit of texture. Not only do we have the humidity, we also live by a crick and cricks just make your hair with you it's just a mess but so far i'm really liking this it's early to tell but i really am liking this so far so i will keep you guys posted something that i found i had a bunch of cvs rewards like i showed you guys some then i got more and more and more and i was like they really didn't have anything new in makeup and I was, like I said, on a hair mission. So I saw this by Shea Moisture. This, this is Shea Moisture Super Fruit Complex 10-in-1 Renewal System with Morocco Oil and Biotin Hair Mask. I had seen this before, and these were buy one, get one half off. Oh, I love the smell. And it's just a very thick, thick, hair mask very thick I really like this it tells you here on the back what everything does that's in it okay I had to get my my eyeball because I can't read uh, no sulfates no parabens no gluten no mineral oil no synthetic fragrance no synthetic collar no DEA no animal testing the reason I went with this is because the marula marula oil contains natural plant peptides that help support hair's elasticity and then the biotin also so it's i said it wrong it's marula oil m-a-r-u-l-a -A. it wasn't what is whatever i said before whatever i said before but this i've really 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 enjoyed a lot so loving this and then just two more things. This one, I saw this at Walmart and I've, I've seen it before. I don't know what made me decide to smell it when I did. But this is Tree Hut's Shea Body Butter in Coconut Lime. And it smells amazing. It smells amazing. And the Soap and Glory, I forgot to bring it in. I got a couple Soap and Glory shower gels. I got a couple sh Soap and Glory shower gels. Oh my gosh, amazing. So moisturizing. I got one of their body butters, so yummy. But that will be for another video. The last thing I'm gonna share with you today is this. And I kept the packaging because sometimes we steer away from wearing anything but matte eyeshadow at all. Now, I try to keep matte eyeshadow in my crease and up. I do like to put sometimes a sheen, a glitter, thing sparkly, shiny goodness on my lid. But sometimes then we have transfer. Now, I do use Max. This is the matte me mixing medium. I have the bottle too, but anyway, this works really well. I have heard a lot of people talk about the um, the MAC eye primer, that it keeps it from transferring. So I have used that and it does work quite well. But this, you guys know I'm on like a makeup revolution kick. I've been wearing their palettes. I've been playing with their palettes. Their highlight is amazing. I saw this and this is the Makeup Revolution Aquasil Liquid eye primer and it is liquid it looks like it looks like a little bottle of eye drops 
and where's the box? I just had it. It's a liquid eye primer and a sealant. This is, this is amazing. I think it was probably seven or ten dollars and they have it in Alta stores. I'm telling you, I have not used it as a eye primer, a liquid one, but today I used one of their palettes. This is the Romantic Smoked, and I used these two right here, this one and this one, on my lid. And I was afraid that it would creep up, creep up, creep up into my crease. And we know that's not attractive because then it's going to be like, ooh, creepy. So I pulled out my Aqua Seal and I just took, you can use your finger. I used a, um, I had these sponge tip applicators that came with the palette. And I just put a drop on one and I just took it and put it on like this. It makes it waterproof and that's the reason I bought it because I thought oh you know what it's going to make it transfer resistant and it really does and it keeps it staying exactly where you put it it looks lovely it's affordable what I'm working as for so that was makeup revolutions liquid eye primer and seal at aqua seal and that's the that's the package that's the package that it comes in so I wanted to share that with you guys I did get three of the Wet n Wild Metallic Lippies. I'm still trying those out. But these, I'm telling you, I know. Mary and I both are on this kick. It's like we discovered it about the same time. These, I put, which one did I put on yesterday? It wasn't this one. I put on 201 yesterday. <clears throat> and I want to do a, I'm going to do a video on these. I think I've already said that, but anyway, I put this on yesterday around 12.30. I then ate lunch, had a drink from a can, and then I had a, what was it? Oh, I had one of those, what are they called? The nut bars that I like so much, not zone, and my mind's gone. But the nut bars, and this one had almonds and chocolate. And I was eating it while I was driving, so it was a little messy. I had a drink. Went to the mall. Got a pretzel. Another drink. Went to my mom's. Had dinner there. We had a late dinner there. Had dinner there. A couple more drinks. I'm a big drinker. Like, water... Diet Coke, Diet Pepsi, big drinker. And I kept checking. I didn't touch up. I did not touch up at all. My lips, very comfortable, didn't feel dry, didn't have that flaky, were pinched, you know what I mean? Sometimes liquid lipstick will do that. It's almost like they're drying and it, you almost feel like it's making lines and pinching them. I get home. I go out, I feed the fawns. Now at this time it is 11.30, yeah. Feed the fawns, come back in, we're hitting midnight. I go in the bathroom to wash my face, take my contacts out, and I look in the mirror and it's still on. I wash my face and had to get my Garnier in the green cap on a cotton pad and wipe that off just just a tiny bit it had worn and I was like what this is amazing this is amazing and I have to share it with my friends so yeah now I'm going to be putting this away and actually I'm going to be not using my this my primer for a couple days because I could just talk forever you guys know that but I keep looking at things and saying things oh I haven't told about that and I got those lipsticks the new Maybelline ones and the new CoverGirl ones when I got those uh 
they had this display and I hadn't heard anybody talk about it. Maybelline Volume Express Mascara Colossal Spider Effect. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and it has one of those funky brushes. I used this one time, so I'm going to try it this week. Okay, guys, I think that is it. Thank you guys so much for my new subscribers. Welcome to the family. For all of y'all that have been hanging out with me for a while now, I still love you. I always will. Be blessed. Have a great weekend, and I will see you in the next video.